Hi, today we're going to talk about the pigeonhole principle. And the question says, how many red playing cards must be drawn from a single deck of cards to be sure that at least two are from the same suit? And as you could see, I have hearts right here and diamonds. That's our focus. So we're not considering the black cards. Just to be clear. The pigeonhole principle, it talks about pigeons and holes. I tried my best to make it simple and hopefully uh, it's going to be simple once you see the video. We need to focus and I'm using highlights right here and different colors. We're going to be calling or I'm going to be calling in my video M for holes and N for pigeons. The picture says it a lot and as you could see on the top left I have two pigeons right there. Here there are N, which is 10, pigeons, and M, which is 9, holes. Since 10 is greater than 9, the pigeonhole principle says that at least one hole has more than one pigeon. Guaranteed. You try to avoid that, but you can't. You might say, like, what about if they all go to one hole? That's... You're answering the question and make it easy for me. But this is what we have to be forced to ensure that you're going to have two in one hole. You should have more pigeons than the number of holes. That's the principle of the pigeon hole uh, principle. The top left hole has two pigeons, as you could see right there. And let's move on. So here's the formula. We talked about M and n we did not talk about k k could be different from a problem to a problem i want to make it simple and i'm going to make more videos instead of having a video with more than one example i'll just keep every video for one example just to keep it simple and focused how many red playing cards one more time i know you might think about the whole thing which is 52 cards but we're not talking about the black ones only the red playing cards must be drawn from a single deck of cards to be sure to guarantee to be forced to have it that at least two are from the same suit we're talking about hearts and diamonds that's what they are referring right here so n is patience and M is holes. We need to make sure we understand which ones are the pigeons, which ones are the holes. In this case, we are filling in two spots and those are called holes and that's the two suits right there. So M is two and K is two. I'm using the green color right here to have at least two, K is two. To have at least five, K will be five. And that's how you identify what's K. So you're gonna subtract one from K. In this case, it's gonna be two times two minus one. And two for the number of holes, two for the number that you want to guarantee and we need to know n how many pigeons in this case how many cards uh, order of operations we need to do, do what's inside parentheses first which is one we take care of the multiplication then finally we add one that's two times one which is two plus one which is three so you need three three cards will do the question says how many red playing cards must be drawn from a single deck of cards to be sure at least two are from the same suit and the answer is there must be at least three playing cards drawn from a single deck of cards to ensure there are at least two of the same suit. That should do it as notes but I'm gonna actually do it uh, practically in person. So stay with me and you're going to see 
another portion of the video showing it to you in details as what do we have as holes, what do we have as pigeons, and why the answer is three. Now you could see I do have the notes right here. As I mentioned, M is two, that's one, and that's two. So we have hearts and diamonds. I do have hearts and diamonds. That's two sets. To guarantee that we're gonna end up with three playing cards of the same suit, we'll start with randomly a diamond will go right here and a heart, let's say, will go right here to avoid having at least two. Now, I'm forced, if I pick a diamond, that's gonna go right there, so I have at least two from the same. And if I end up, let's say, with a heart, I'm gonna end up with two right there. So, in order to have at least two from the same suit, I need a three. The reason why we subtract one from K is the following. K was two. So subtract one from two, as you could see, end up with one. One for each, one times two. That's the two in red. One for each. So if I go one for each, that's two times one. Plus one. And that is the plus one. And that should do it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.